Hi, this story is titled BJ Goes for a Walk with Dada. Dada, can I go for a walk with you today? BJ asked. And Dada replied, Why, yes, of course. Then added, But you must change into your outside clothes or our neighbors will think that you are sleepwalking. Dada chuckled as he said this, and BJ giggled cheerfully while running as fast as two little feet can possibly go, barely hearing Dada ask, Do you need my help? No, thank you, Dada. I can dress myself. I am growing up now. Mommy said, and I have to try to put my clothes on the right way by myself because... Okay, okay, BJ, Dada shouted again. I understand. Hurry up now. Dada began whistling his favorite tune as he patiently waited for BJ by the door. BJ quickly stepped out of the long green, red, blue and yellow pajamas and almost tumbled over a ball lying in the center of the floor, hopping up and down and twirling around all at the same time. BJ raced over to the drawers that were filled to the brim with jeans, t-shirts and sweat tops and froze. With a frown, BJ said, oh dear. BJ was confused. Two little hands flew up in the air and BJ stared helplessly at the top drawer, whispering loudly and feeling all crumbly. What do I wear outside for a walk with Dada this morning? BJ sniffled and sat down on the floor, staring at the drawers in despair and scrubbing back the warm tears that welled up in both eyes. I need some help, BJ thought as Dada called out with a warning tone, reminding BJ that he had only 45 minutes left before he had to get ready for work. Coming, BJ yelled back and bounced off the floor like a tennis ball. BJ grabbed the first handful of clothes and tossed them on the floor. Then a second handful followed. BJ looked at the pile of clothes in dismay. Yanking a third handful from the drawer, BJ threw them on the floor and looked at the little mountain in bewilderment. What a mess! You know what my mom will say. BJ turned to Mr. Bear that was propped up on a chair beside the chest of drawers. BJ sheepishly looked at Mr. Bear and suddenly he felt awkward because Mr. Bear could not answer or help with the huge mess that was in the middle of the bedroom floor. What should I wear outside for a walk with Dada? BJ moaned, staring at Mr. Bear and wishing a bear could talk right now. BJ was about to lie flat on the pile of clothes and weep when just then BJ saw it and yelled out loud, My favorite play suit mommy bought me for my birthday! Skipping with excitement, and twisting and stumbling all at the same time, BJ shouted, I'm coming, Dada! And BJ grabbed the top and popped one head into the big round hole, then two little arms into the two smaller holes, pulling and tugging and squawking like a bird. It's on! BJ shouted. Not sure what to do next, BJ sat on the floor and stared at the bottoms of the play suit, just as Dada asked, Are you ready now? BJ thought that Dada sounded far away. Almost! BJ brightly chirped back to Dada. BJ couldn't bear the thought of not walking down the street with Dada today, because it was always so much fun, skipping along and listening to Dada whistle with the birds and the juicy oranges bought at the fruit stand. Mmm, yummy! I like oranges, mused BJ and jumped into action. BJ had a brilliant idea. 
holding the pair of pants at the waist. BJ opened it as wide as possible, stuck the left leg in one side and stood up, jumping like a baby kangaroo. BJ hopped to the bed and leaned against it, then dropped the right leg into the open hole. That's what mommy does for my brother, BJ thought, while pulling and tugging until the bottoms were up. Let's go, BJ. Dada's voice was right outside the bedroom door as BJ quickly pulled on the snappy shoes that matched the play suit and marched toward the bedroom door. BJ walked right past Dada, up the hallway, and straight through the front door without even a glance in his direction. BJ did not notice the look of amusement on Dada's face, nor did BJ see that Dada was pointing and nodding his head up and down at the same time as he ambled along. Great job, BJ. I like your suit, Dada said, looking proudly at BJ. Thank you, Dada. I dressed myself, replied BJ happily, and walked right down the stairs, almost missing a step or two. This is my outside suit, Dada. BJ finally looked up at Dada, who had to stretch his steps out to keep up with BJ's speed and nodded as he hurriedly reached for BJ's swinging left hand. Do you see the white walking light on the traffic sign, Dada? Oh, yes, BJ, Dada replied. So we can cross now, said BJ, and Dada replied, yes, we sure can. They walked down the street together. Dada whistled loudly and BJ whistled softly. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and share. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, thank you.